so guys uh, welcome to our mathematics uh, lecture class and in today's class i'll just explain to you on binary operation so i'll start with defining what binary operation is and then i'll solve some few questions so this topic will mark the first part of our classes where we are focusing on um, discussing questions that have to deal with quiz one so this is where the coverage for quiz one normally ends so i'll start with um, the definition of what a binary operation is and then from there we'll move further and look at more steps so if you look at the binary operation we need to understand that the term so all right the term binary operation the term binary operation operation comes from the facts so the term binary operation comes from the fact that comes from the facts comes from the fact that um, this operation is normally act on two numbers so binary operation the term binary operation is just comes from the fact that the operation works on two numbers so the operation the operation works on two numbers okay works on two numbers i'm pretty sure you guys know about um addition subtraction division um and also multiplication so those are just some of the examples of a binary operation okay so um i'll write what i've stated to help most of you understand what i'm saying so i'm going to say the usual the usual uh operation arithmetics operation arithmetics operation arithmetics i know you all know the operation mathematics operation um arithmetics such as you can talk about multiplication you can talk about division you can talk about subtraction you can also talk about uh, multiplication so these ones are some of the examples of binary operation okay these one are some are some of the examples are some of the examples of binary operation examples of binary operation okay. so these are just few examples among us the um binary operation that we can talk about so things like plus minus division and also multiplications are examples of a binary operation when you talk of sets um you also need to understand that sets are also examples of binary operation so sets are also sets are also examples of binary operation also examples of binary operation binary operation so this is just an example of a uh, binary operation a very good example we can talk about when you talk of sets you can consider the intersection so let's say we have a intersection b automatically to give you a new set which is c or you can say a union b is equal to c which is just c is a new set which we have when we combine a and b or c is the new set when we when we do it when we find the intersection of a and b let me just put a d here 
just for some of you to quickly understand so when you talk of what i've just explained what we are considering a binary operation are these guys here the the intersection and also the words the the union so these are just some of the examples of binary operation that you can consider so one other thing we need to understand is that we need to know we need to know to know how to define how to define how to define how to define and so we need to know how to define and how to identify a binary operation and how to identify a binary operation identify a binary operation so this is one of the most important part especially in your exams that you need to know so you need to be able to identify and know if a given function or a given set is a binary operation okay so um this is just the definition of what a binary operation is and what you need to expect when we talk of um, a binary operation okay so um in most cases we use we use in most cases we use a star to define a binary operation we normally use a star so that's a star like that to define a binary operation okay so this is also important to define a binary operation define a binary operation binary operation so ladies and gentlemen this is what we need to understand when you talk about what binary operation is all about and some of the important parts that you need to consider as you try to analyze binary operation so with this few um or with this short explanation or definition of what binary operation is and some of the two important things that you need to be able to know which is knowing how to uh, define and knowing how to identify a binary operation and also we need to know the use of a star when you're talking about binary operation so with this being said we can quickly jump on two examples with this being said we can quickly look at some few examples which we can talk about so i was supposed to give an example which has to do with functions but i'm not going to do that i'll give such an example when we talk of functions after learning functions so from there i'll pick up and then teach you one or two things so the first question is state um state whether the following states whether a set a which is equal to that and then one two three one two three and then your four uh, state whether a set a is equal to that defined by defined by defined by let's say a star b is simply equal to a star b is simply equal to a multiplied by b is binary or not okay is binary or not so in this example i'm just trying to help you on how to know if a given set is binary or not so state whether a set a that are defined by that is binary 
or not so um in such a case you you need there are so many ways you can try out this question but one way that i can show you is the use of the table so what you need to understand is that um we can normally focus much on this and we also focus on the set which we have been given so this is where your highest should be on s that b is equal to s times z b so this is the formula this is more like the formula and then the s that b this star is just being represented by multiplication so this is the first way you need to know um, how to identify so i'm going to use a table which will help you guys to be able to identify if that particular set is binary or not okay so in most cases you are also going to be asked to give a reason why is it a binary operation or not a binary operation so this is how easily you can do it using the table so you can have something like that so that one that one and that one then uh, here you can also make four of them I will show you why I'm making this table and what you are supposed to indicate in this particular table. So with this, you can simply put that multiplication. Since the binary operation S to B, since the binary operation S to B is equal to A star A, sorry, A multiplied by B. Okay that's what we have been taught a multiplied by what by b so the multiplication is what is in between those two guys the multiplication is what is in between these two guys so like that so this multiplication is what you are going to put in between this multiplication here is what you are going to put there okay that multiplication you have been given there is what you are going to put there then you are going to get that set which is set a is simply equal to one two three four like that okay so you're going to get all these numbers and put them this side and also downwards so you're going to put one you put there two there you put three there you also put four there even down this side you say one two three four so if you observe very well this is more like um uh, what you you learned when you're in grade four when you were trying to do the multiplication table so i've made this example so that you guys should be able to understand um if at all uh you can identify a given set if it's a binary or not a binary so with what i've just given here so what you now need to do is for you to utilize the the multiplication which is the binary at this particular point so i'm going to say one times one is simply one one times two is two one times three is three one times four it is four then this side you say two times one it is two two times two it is four there it is six there it is eight there it will be three there are six there are nine and there are twelve here you say four there are eight there are twelve there are sixteen so after you enter these these uh this information after you do your multiplication and other stuff the next thing that you need to do is to compare what you have been given okay in short to compare the the answers that you have to the set which you have been given okay so if you look at the the answers which we have we are having things like six okay we are having things like six we are having things like eight 
we're having things like 9 we're having things like 12 okay we're also having something like 16 we're having 12 there we are having 8 there we are also having 6 there so if you look at these numbers which i have shaded here these numbers are not in that set these numbers are not in that set so since these numbers are not in that set this is not a binary operation okay so this is not a binary operation why because you are having members that are not in this particular set given so the answer for this one is is not a binary operation so this is not a binary operation so this is not a binary operation the reason why this is not a binary operation is because we are having answers that are not in this particular set so this is the first way you can identify a binary operation or not a binary operation so um to make things a little bit easier i'll give another example of the same kind i'll give another example of the same kind okay so um given that given the sets given the set a is equal to given the set a is equal to open bracket so let's say of negative 1 comma 0 comma 1 okay given the sets a is equal to uh, that states whether the binary operation state whether the binary operation state whether the binary operation operation a star b a star b is simply equal to let's say we have something like uh we can just give something like let's say we have a plus b a plus b and then we have open brackets okay we have open bracket squared and then we have let's say um plus a b okay so um we have been given this as our formula okay we have been given this as our formula if i want i can put a minus there if i want i can put a division if i want i can put anything depending on what we have been given but the major goal is to utilize the information which we have been given in that particular set and also um, the formula which we have been given in that particular part so with the information that is there you are going to write solution okay you are going to write solution so like i've already stated the same thing which i've already stated the first thing should be your eyes should be on the set okay your first thing your eyes should be only this particular set so this is where your eyes should be so after you set your eyes there you also need to set your eyes on something which is very important which is uh which is this formula here so this formula is the one which is guiding you what to do and what not to do so since we are since we are trying to state if this is a binary operation okay the binary operation um exists or not i forgot to put the word exist or not okay exists or not okay so in this particular uh case your goal should be on the formula one and also on the set once you you know these two guys you are able to um you are able to utilize the table so i'm going to utilize my table like that okay so i'm going to draw 
my table once again and i'm going to use this same table to enter the details i'm going to use the table to simply enter the details so um i'm going to have this part i'm also going to have the down part like that and then i'll move in that particular way again that particular way then this side i'll simply have the same thing so um stating whether it's binary operation or not they this question they come in so many ways but for now i am just going to make sure that i i give few examples and then in our revision classes i'll solve as much as i can so the reason why i've put a star there is because this formula is too big to be fused there okay this formula is too big for for it to be fused there so after i put there i'll get these same um, numbers okay i'll get these same numbers i'll put negative one there i'll put a zero there i'll also put a one there then this side i'll put a negative one i'll put a zero there i'll also put a one there after putting that i can now simply start working on these numbers the the, the answers for this particular part using that formula so i'm going to utilize my next page but i'll be coming back to this same page for explanations so uh, according to the information that we have our set is negative one comma zero comma one and then the formula we have this is the set okay this is the set and then we have the formula okay we have the formula and this formula is simply a star b is simply equal to open a plus b squared plus a b okay so these are the only two key things that you are supposed to have in mind those are the two key things that you are supposed to have in mind so after having this in mind ladies and gentlemen this is how now you are supposed to play your cards i'll be going back to the diagram and also coming back to the solving so if i go back to my diagram the first one i'm having is a negative one star negative one negative one star negative one that simply means that where there is a i'll put negative one and where there is b i'll also put negative one so the first one i'm i'm trying to solve is the first one which is negative one star what star negative one okay negative one star negative one because it's the first part so in this case both a and b are negative one if you observe very well from the formula from the formula this a has been replaced by negative one and this b has also been replaced by negative one so where you see a you're going to put negative one take note of that ladies and gentlemen where there is a you're going to put negative one okay so in that case you're going to say negative one uh and then plus you put negative one and then you say squared and then you say plus you're going to say negative one um times negative one okay so with this information there this will be negative two squared automatically negative two squared uh that and that will be plus one right so this will be positive one so the whole solution will just simply be five so at that point the first part the first part will be five so the first part will simply be five so if you plug in there this will be five you do the same thing with the zero and negative one so the next one is zero star negative one zero star negative one 
So 0 star negative 1, it will be 0 plus negative 1 uh, squared. And then you say plus, you are going to say 0 and then negative 1 like that. This will be 0, that will be 1. So the O of that will simply be 1. So for that particular part, it will simply be a 1. So here it will be a 1. Okay, so um, after we understand such a solving, after we understand such a solving, you are going to do the same thing that I have done. So I'm going to give you the assignment to finish up this table using the same way I've done for negative 1 star negative um, negative 1 and then also negative 1 star 0. So try them out. Actually, that guy 0 star negative 1 was for the one which is down and not which is up. So let me just try to erase that one. So that one was not for that. To this one was actually there, this one. This one was for that one. So if you get negative one, you put it there. You get a zero, you put it there. That will be one. That will be what? Uh, so there it will still be one. If you put negative 1 and 1, negative 1 plus negative 1 plus 1, it's going to give you 0. And then negative 1 times 1, it will be negative 1. So when you work out using the same way I've been working out, that should be your answer at that particular point, this one here. If you get 0, 0 and 0, Automatically 0 and 0 will simply give you 0 and then if you put 0 and 1 0 plus 1 it's simply 1 squared 1 plus 0 so that one will be 1 If you put 1 and negative 1 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 is simply 0 squared 0 plus this will be uh, 1 negative 1 so this will be negative 1 if you put 1 and 0 you put 1 plus 0 it is 1 squared 1 so there it will simply be 1 if you put 1 and 1 1 plus 1 it is simply 2 and then plus 1 times 1 it's so here it will be 5 so if you look at this particular set whereby we have these uh, these answers here if i was to ask someone is this a binary operation or not does the binary operation exist or not does the binary operation exist or not give it a try Can someone give it a try? Is that a binary operation? Okay. Um, any other person? Frederick is saying it's not a binary. Any other person to give it a try? Is it a binary or not a binary? Is it a binary or not a binary operation? It is a binary. Why are you saying it is a binary operation? Because we have some of the answers that are, are given there. Said. In the other example, did we not have the, the answers that were given in the other sets? Like that one. We had, isn't it? Yes, we did. So, meaning, even if it is, it's one number, it is not in the set, meaning it's not a binary. Exactly. Because of the five. Yes. So, um, 
this binary operation does not exist so the binary operation does not exist so that's the answer so the binary operation the binary operation does not exist does not exist so it's very important for you guys to know that um even when you are having a single number which is different from these guys there then it doesn't exist okay so make sure that you are able to understand such all right um let me move on and look at my third example let me move on and look at my third example yes Yes, what's your question? Can I bring back the example just a moment? Okay. Yes, my question is like, uh, which one yeah. is then like in A and B because I see low and column. Is it safe to switch them or whatever? Okay. So is it the low which is A then column B? Even if you get this one and that one, even if you swap them, they'll still give you the same thing. Even if you swap them, they'll still give you the same thing. Even if you put negative okay. one there or zero there, it will still give you the same thing. Is that okay? Yes, that's good. Okay, number three. Um, given the sets, given the sets, given the set, let's say A is equal to open bracket, I'll get the same guys which we we had in the previous example so given the sets um a is equal to let's say we have negative one zero and one okay given the set a is equal to that states whether state whether the binary operation the binary state whether the binary operation state whether the binary operation a star b is equal to a times b exists okay or not so i'm much interested in this last example i think once i do this last example as most of you the mind will open up and you'll be able to work out many questions which i'm going to to give as an assignment so after this class i'll give you an assignment basically the assignments i'm giving you these are some of these are most of the things which you are going to be assessed on in your quiz in your test and also in your exams so make sure that you do those assignments i do give you okay most of the questions i just get them from the exam pass papers and some of them i just change some few content from from them but when it comes to the tests which I am going to prepare something that you have not seen before so yeah so make sure that you you follow up so um this will be a this will be sorry uh, my mind is still with a so for this case we are going to utilize the same sets we have so this will be negative one this will be zero this will be one then they are negative one they are zero they are one and then that will be your binary operation okay that will be your binary operation which has been given so um if you observe very well i'm just using the same method to figure out actually this is the shortest method you can ever use when it comes to identifying if the binary operation exists or it doesn't exist so mostly this is a very good way you can sort it out so 
with this information which we have i can now start entering my detail so s the b which is which has been defined by that so my eyes will be on this particular part and also on the set which has been given so the binary operation is defined by a times b so if i say negative one times negative one the answer is what one negative one times zero the answer is zero negative one times one the answer is negative one then if i say zero times negative one it's zero then if i say zero times zero it's simply zero and then if i say zero times one it's simply zero then this one uh it's negative one the other one will be zero and the last one will surely be negative one so um uh, for you you guys who are following who are who have understood the the last part so if you look at the answers which we have found or which you are going to find in the in the in the box you're going to find that all of them are part of the set all of them are part of the set if you observe one is there zero is there negative one is there zero 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 negative one zero and negative one all of these numbers we are able to see here are in that particular set all of them are in that particular set so does this binary operation exist or not does this binary operation exist or not can someone give it a try does it exist or not Co correct so in yeah correct 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 so in this case the binary operation exists so the binary operation exists the binary operation exists if you are asked to state the reason the the answer is simply that uh, all the members in the in the in the set are part of the solution or all the solutions are part of the set which has been given so sometimes you might not be given the set sometimes you might be given um you might be given a a function okay let's say uh you have been given a function like f of x is equal to square root x okay and then they ask you if this binary operation exists on real numbers or it doesn't exist on real numbers so for such knowledge i'll need to teach you on functions and also for me to teach you um how to know the different types of functions and the limits that they have so in a case like this one where it's saying uh, is this binary operation does it exist on real numbers or not automatically the answer will be no why because negative cannot be defined when you play with this guy but um for such the for such i will surely um explain on how to go about such when we do functions so ladies and gentlemen um i think for today's class i will simply end here for today's class i'll simply end here um so that you guys are able to understand but next time we meet the next time we are going to meet i will be explaining on the other part of binary operation which is stating whether the binary operation is commutative or not and also stating whether the binary operation is associative or not so one thing that we need to understand is that a binary operation can be associative or it can be commutative or it cannot be either of the two so in the next class i'm going to focus much on those two aspects of binary operation so make sure that um 
make sure that you follow up this class you watch the all of this class and uh, lastly you need to make sure that you practice as much as you can practice is the key of perfecting your mathematical skills so uh, for now i would allow people to ask questions do we have any questions do we have any question